During the menstrual phase, the pituitary hormone FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone, will stimulate the development of a number of primordial follicles, where they will continue their development into the stage of being primary follicles. There may be 20 or 25 primary follicles which begin a menstrual cycle, of which one will become a secondary follicle. When the secondary follicle begins to make its own estrogen, that will cause a decrease in the levels of FSH, and so therefore the other primary follicles will break down and deteriorate. The estrogen can then stimulate the uterine lining as the functional layer of the endometrium begins to develop. In the late preovulatory phase, a surge in the hormone luteinizing hormone, or LH, causes ovulation. And so this pituitary hormone is the primary signal for ovulation. After ovulation, some of the cells of the vesicular follicle remain in the ovary and transform to the yellow body or the corpus luteum, an endocrine structure which secretes the progesterone which will maintain the uterine lining in case of pregnancy. If conception does not occur, the corpus luteum will break down into the corpus albicans and the level of progesterone and estrogens will drop. This will then cause the hypothalamus to make GnRH and the pituitary to make FSH and a new menstrual cycle will begin.